Hi guys, welcome back, Martial Arts Monk here, here with a theology-based question that one of my boys brought me. I think a lot of us have heard the classic, say now at least, classic, from the psychologist Jordan Peterson, or psychiatrist Jordan Peterson, where he says, a harmless man is not a good man. A good man is a very dangerous man who has it under voluntary self-control. I would think that any of us in the martial arts world, to be blunt, want this to be true. You know, Jordan Peterson uses his understanding of the word meek in the Beatitudes in Matthew 5.5 5, to justify this. And that's what one of my students asked me about was, well, Jordan Peterson isn't a scripture guy, I'm at least a priest, is he right? Does meek mean to have strength and keep it under control, to be dangerous, yet to keep it under voluntary restraint? And the short of it is, yeah, he's right. Now there's some nuance in here, but yeah, the Greek praxis, P-R-A-U-S, for meek, is a different word than the Greek word asthenes, A-S-T-H-E-N-E-S, which is used for weak. And at the heart of the distinction in the Greek is the possession of strength and power. The weak man is described as those who are sick, imprisoned, enchained. That is the weak those who have had all their power literally stripped from them, all their strength taken away. Meek, conversely, are those who possess power, or to quote the doctorate in sacred scripture professor I know, Bishop Seratelli, to be strong, yet have it under control. Meek is to be strong, yet have it under control. Strong, in his concordance, likewise, admitting it's difficult to translate perfectly, says that biblical meekness is not weakness, but rather refers to exercising God's strength under God's control, i.e. demonstrating power without undue harshness. But I think we have to go deeper than that surface understanding. And there's an example from the Last Supper that I think, in a way, shows very nicely this aspect of meekness. And, like some of my favorite stuff, it involves swords. So, in the Last Supper, Luke chapter 22, the Lord says to the disciples, but now let him who has a purse, take it, and likewise a bag. And let him who has no sword sell his mantle and buy one. For I tell you that this scripture must be fulfilled in me. The Lord at the Last Supper tells the disciples to get a sword. All right. Good strength weapon right there. That's a force multiplier. But just a few hours later, when Simon Peter uses one, look what happens. John chapter 18. This is in Gethsemane. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's slave and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its sheath. Shall not I drink the cup which the Father has given me? In other words, just a few hours earlier, the Lord said, Get a sword. But he didn't say use it, did he? Peter uses it. Peter doesn't trust, in this moment at least, in the power of God. He doesn't trust in divine providence. He feels he must act. He must use his strength to act. 
He doesn't turn it over to God. That's not meekness. We're called to be meek. Blessed, makari ui, are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So we must have that strength, but we also must watch when and how we use it. You know, as a monk, I love the Psalms, and one of my favorites as a martial artist is Psalm 144 in the RSV. There we hear from the psalmist, Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. My rock and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues the peoples under him. The martial arts guy, I love that. You know, think about it. We daily train our hands, our bodies for war, for battle, be it on the mats, grappling, or be it on a punching bag, in a heavy bag, with pad work. We train for war. We train to develop skills to do unspeakable damage to the human body. And yet, if we're learning correctly, we also train how to keep it under control, right? How to do it safely, smooth as fast. We are called to be me even on the martial arts mat, to have great strength, yet to use it without undue harshness, to be strong, yet to always have it under control. So be meek, inherit the earth. Don't be weak, because yes, a weak man is not a good man. We are called to be strong. We are called to be powerful. We are called to train our hands and our fingers daily for war. But when all is said and done, we are also called to trust in divine providence, to be meek, to turn that strength over to God, to he who is king of the universe. God love you. Take care.